not a you. And we ain't got much choice. What would you guys do without me? Yeah, where, oh where, would we get another gun? And... Where? It must still be stuck somewhere. Gamora, let's climb up there. Get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. In Little Fuzzy's defense, he has died drowning in far less water than this. Exactly. Wait, what? This doesn't seem absurd to you? He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? You're supposed to be his leader. Have you met Rocket? That's one big beanstalk. Star Wars. Say something? God, nope. Who's I? Who's I? <gasps> Mantis, any of those realities where we just leave Rocket here, hypothetically speaking? Oh, yes. Anywhere I don't kill them all for abandoning me? Hypothetically speaking? Oh, little fuzzy. Sometimes you die trying to get out. Just like that! Please, don't give him an even bigger head than he's already got. Too bad you don't have these sweet guns, Rocket. Keep it up and I'll swipe him in your sleep. Try blowing it up, I guess. No! Remember last time you blew something up? Okay, fine. Figure something else out. <coughs> hey, bug lady. Exactly how many times you seen us die horribly? Suddenly missing Drax's anecdotes about Katath. Oh, you know he has some Katath in the Like the Katath equivalent of Jack and the Giant Beanstalk. Nice shot, Peter. Oh, uh, thanks. less wet. I'm zero percent interested. All right, I'm on it. Sure, they're big enough to blow. 
block the water, but they're growing in the wrong direction. You're the only plant that grows that fast. What do you think, Rocket? Doesn't seem that bad. Translation. Rocket, don't... Rocket don't like wet. We get it. It's a scary dark cave. We're all what is going on, on with this fucking game, game, man? But nothing is much Why can't I walk around? Who cares if they're talking? Never underestimate someone's deeply rooted fear, Sir Fry. Especially when you do not understand the root. I'd settle for some shelter. Mora, you do it. You've got it right. Hey, Groot, can you get me up there? I am Groot. He's on his way. Just tell him how high. Star-Lord! Hey, if I jump, you can catch me, right? Guess we'll find out. That's not very reassuring. Just don't screw up the jump. <laughs> Why don't we just leave him behind, focus on saving Drax? He'll still be here on the way back, and if he isn't, eh. Groot would never go for that. What are you guys talking about? Nothing, buddy. You're a valued member of the team. Red Bar, Rocket, go! Huh? Moses. Are we supposed to know who that is? Part the Seas guy? Oh, with the tentacles, right? What? No! Anyway, thanks, Quill. Really. I was pretty sure he had tentacles. What do you say, group? Now that we got the whole team together? <laughs> Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. This cramped corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. Oh, what now? I thought we just did the wet part. Oh, it gets worse. Much worse. Uh, <laughs> Everyone okay? I'd be seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. Has he always been able to do that? He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. I am Groot. No, I don't gotta tell him. Ooh, right. The thing that you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't! Shut up! You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just... The lab I was in did tests on me in tubes of water. And it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on Half-World. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Clark. I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just prefer to keep dry is all. So how long do we gotta wander around smashing our shins on rocks? Imagine it's a metaphor. You're in the physical darkness, and that reflects Green Meanie's mind. We can double back along Groot's path and then try to find the exit. Groot says stay close to him. At least you'll be able to see.
Alright guys, it's been a pretty long video, so I'm going to end this video here. And I will be back shortly with another one. Alright guys, we'll be where I will pick up right where I left off. Oh, Sir Groot, look at you glow. As always, You're guys. Welcome. I had no idea four colossi could become bioluminescent. That's One love. You don't know. Peace out. Alright guys, this is Chris G. I'm back on my game channel, T that Gameology. And I'm here doing Guardians of the Galaxy. Alright guys, as always, thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already, please do so. That'd be greatly appreciated. And guys, as always, thank you for subscribing to my channel, watching my videos, liking my videos, commenting on my videos, good or bad, guys. I don't care. I appreciate it all. Having said that, let's get at her. Oh, also, guys, this will be walked through 16, I believe. This low light is almost romantic. Kind of like our first date, Star Guy. Is there really a timeline where you actually date Peter? Like, seriously? I wouldn't say seriously. Me and you were way more serious in our timeline. Star Guy was more of a fling. A very short-lived fling. <laughs> Come on, Groot. I need the light, Groot. I kind of love it when you go the wrong way. Trying to follow Groot, guys. Trying to let him lead the way. Ooh, this part. Ooh. Okay, anyone else getting really fed up with little Miss Cryptic? <laughs> Pretty. <laughs> Give me a break. At least it seems less dark through here and less wet. Works for me. Mantis, anything in particular we should be looking out for? I'm trying to remember. I think this is where it gets loopy. Uh, there's that creepy fog again. It's always here. Always. Until it is. What's that here? supposed to. Shh. I don't. More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those Flarknards. It's them creepy eyeball things from the QC. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball things. I can't tell. It's not clear. Well, it's clear to me. Rocket's right. I don't know how it's possible, but I'll never forget that squidgy sound. It's the sound of wet eyeballs hitting the ground. Has a mind of its own. Weird. Not mind. Force. Ooh. We're in Guardians of the Galaxy. Anyone else Not Star Wars. Oh my god. It all looks the same with this fog. Well, it don't sound the same. It's them jelly things from Seknar. That explains Stumpy's cousin. No, it's Nova Corps. I hear voices. How can you not tell the difference between monsters and people? It's not that. We're clearly hearing different things. It's definitely those jellies from Seknar. If I can hear their spiky things shooting out. What do you know? Rocket's right. Hey, I was right too. To the phone! This is like a bad dream. You got weird dreams, well. Start pointy death coming your way. Clear to you, Mantis? All I see is fog. 
so guys, I think we should go the other way. No, there is no other way. Oh, come on. Eyeballs from the QC. No question. I'm not doing this. Something is clearly messing with us. Shitari? Okay, well, that's just wrong. You're worse than her. Those overgrown lizards make clicky sounds. You got moss in your ears. I'm with Groot. Shitari. I'll never forget those things as long as I live. Jesus, Luke, there's another side. Oh. The same thing, guys. What are we missing? I'm going back. I'm going back. What are we missing? We're missing something. Right? A mystery with fighting. Drax would love this. Fuck are we missing, guys? Ah, uh, just let's try it again. Occam's razor. Well, is that some kind of weapon? Eh, it's an earth thing. Simplest explanation is probably the right one. I hate to break it to you, but you ever tried explaining post-retrograde tremography? There, you hear that? Don't trust it, little fuzzy. This isn't right. It can't be real. It sure felt real when we were fighting them. It's the fog. They're just sound. And it's just a coincidence they sound like all the flark and scut bags that have tried to kill us recently. It doesn't make any sense, but I can hear those squishy eyeball things from the quarantine zone. Definitely missing something. Let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut from now on. The fog entity has retreated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, bug lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. So the fog is an entity now? Yes! Sort of. Obviously, if some fog monster's trying to kill us, it means we're getting closer to whatever it is we're looking for. That kind of makes sense. And... If this fog monster can make bad things appear, maybe the opposite is true. 
Like, if we all say cure Drax, maybe that's what we've been looking for the whole time. I wish, Star Guy, but no. The one time she gives a definite answer. Are you sure that's the right way, Peter? No, I'm, I'm sure not. It's not. But let's not tell Star Guy. He needs to learn for himself. I can hear you. Even better. Ten components. Come on. Yeah, but the problem is, there's no way back up for me. I've tried. That's how I got down more. So, like, hello. Where's the girl? How do you know we're getting closer? The lies inside Green Meanie's mind are starting to act up. They're afraid. How the hell? Oh. water lots of it oh and the odds of you drowning are getting higher and higher okay one last time it's fine i don't remember this part okay okay look guys um <clears throat> i appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Bog monsters? <laughs> His hands are so funny. White waterfalls! Technically, all water... No, no, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for. Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. And I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um, well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly. And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me, just as depraved, self-centered, oh, mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like oh, those dude. things. So do I. But none of those things are why we're here now. Right? You're down here kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the destroyer, not Drax the rampaging criminal. Drax, man. Our friend. And Gamora. You've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people, to get revenge in what I can only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? 
Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. Uh, Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. But, or if you do, I don't catch it. But I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us. And that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, following a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help, we're a family. We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy. Yay! Really great speech, Quill. Why yeah. didn't anyone stop me? You're on such a roll! It really was one of your better speeches. Order up! Oh, No. Bog me has got sloppy footwork. Then sweep the leg. Little Fuzzy, now is the time for explosion. Fuck it. If we just blow the statue from the inside. That opening's filled with water, Quill. Find me another way in. What's next, Peter? Rocket! You see what I oh, see? Yeah, yeah! I can get in there! Oh, your shadow cells will never stop! Will never die! Okay! So let's blow this thing to hell! Don't know how much longer I can hold this off, Peter! Rocket, you can do this! You can, right, Mantis? Mantis! No! Come on, Rocket. Not dead. 
I can't believe you did that for us. Hey, yeah. a friend needed help. A bunch of them. Rocket, man. Yeah. Can we please just save Drax already? Warm? Very, very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as flock didn't get all wet for nothing. Something sad and sulking, licking lingering wounds. <laughs> if it's here. She's totally gonna feed us something awful down here. I know. Should we expect to fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. Mantis has been right so far. About what? Finding swamp water in the stinking cave of doom? Yeah, yeah. bug lady got that part right. Thanks. The priests of Pama settled Lamentis for a reason. This is a place of healing. Uh-huh. Spiritual healing. Drax would have taken us right back to Sacrosanct if Mantis hadn't seen it coming. Exactly. We can trust her. That's not always true, but this time? Yes. I think I'm one of the good ones. We're here. Home of the healing light. Source of the cure. Origin of Rager's power. It's a cocoon? Maybe the bugs, and that's some kind of external digestion sack or something like this. Hi. Oh, gross! Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. Oh, gee. Oh. Ah! Followers, think fast, beard butt. How oh, the you know not the gravity of your treacherous trespass. Not quell a god. <laughs> Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Meanie, you're up. <sighs> Found you. Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. It's okay, guys. It's him. Aaron Witchcraft. No. Wait. Aiden Warsock. Ashley Warsaw. Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by <coughs> Sanctimonious Shepherd? <coughs> Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. <laughs> okay, big guy. In we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happen. <laughs> oh. Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas, her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So, can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. 
A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... What? PlayStation.